guys, it's Delcy and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be what not to pack slash pick it or skip it, your ultimate college packing guide. Um, obviously, as you can tell, I am in a different location today for this sit down video. Um, usually, I'm in my living room, but my brother was downstairs watching TV and I didn't want to have to have him mute the TV, so I'm just in our back room area. So, yeah, so without further ado, let's get into the video. So, here are some things um, to pick to bring to college. So the first one is breakfast food. Uh, personally, for me, I bring breakfast food when I go shopping for food. Because um, for me, I personally like will do like my supplies slash dorm room pack uh dorm room supplies first like I'll buy that first like throughout the like for the couple of weeks before I move back in and then I will do my food shopping the day before I move in this year um I am moving I'm getting my key two days before band camp starts so like the Saturday before I was originally supposed to move in and I'm just gonna get my key and I'm gonna go in, drop some stuff off, organize it up, like put it how I want it. And then the Sunday before I like move the rest of my stuff in, I will be shopping for food and drinks. That way, like it's still kind of like fresh. So like I'm not holding it for a week and being tempted to, to eat it at my house. And I usually um, get breakfast food in that mixture of stuff because I am not a breakfast kind of person in the mornings and usually it takes me a long time to like get up and get ready and get motivated to get ready for classes and stuff so I like never actually have time to go to the dining hall to eat breakfast so I usually just have like a granola bar or some fruit depending on my mood. Number two is black pumps. So um, I personally don't like wearing heels. Um, and usually if I, like, have a party or something, I usually wear, like, Converse or, like, nice dress shoes. Number three is nail polish. So, um, whenever you decide to, like, have a, like, me day where you just do stuff, like, for you, um, painting your nails is a good way to do it. I actually am thinking of doing mine soon. Uh, number five is a desk lamp. I think this is very important um especially if you have a roommate and your roommate is trying to sleep and you're still doing work and stuff it's nice to just have number six is a tote bag so um to like what if you don't like doing uh having a backpack you can use a tote bag number seven is cleaning products i think that is pretty self-explanatory because dorm rooms are kind of not the cleanest because no one basically like lives in there for three months so it gets kind of like dusty and dirty number eight is medication i think that's pretty self-explanatory number nine is a full length mirror i have a hanging full length mirror which you guys have probably seen in dorm tours and everything else but i also at wesleyan i know some of the rooms also have like full length mirrors on the doors I think my room this year has one so number 10 is command strips and hooks those are uh, very important for just hanging stuff up I think it's good uh, number 11 is day to night tops so if you have a full day of classes and then decide to go out the next like later that evening with friends um, it's good to have another um, out another shirt to change into. Number 12 is wonder hangers. Uh, these are things that you should not bring. The first things, the first thing is clothes that are in season. Personally for me, I bring clothes number one for all seasons and also clothes that like I can wear in every season. Um, it's just easier for me just because like Yes, I know I only live like a half hour from Wesleyan, but sometimes it gets hard. Like it's just 
so time consuming to have to like put my clothes for that I'm switching out in a suitcase, come back, unpack them, put them away, get the new clothes, pack those, travel back, unpack, like unpack them and hang them up. I think it's just like um, a lot of like kind of like just a waste of time and like for people who like live farther and away from their college, it's easier for them to just bring um, clothes that like work in all seasons. Like there are a few things that like can only work for certain seasons that I have, but most of the time I wear the same clothes every season. Number two is stuffed animals. I think I bring like two, like I have like this one where it has like little beads and you can like put it in the microwave to heat it up or put it in the freezer to cool it down. So like that's like, uh, it helps me, especially like when it's like, I'm on my period and stuff, for like cramps or like just body aches and stuff like that. And then I just have one from where I made a, like a Build-A-Buddy at Wesleyan once and yeah. Number three is your whole novel collection. I honestly bring like three or four books and I like, cause I think that's basically all I have time for to read when I'm not busy or just need a break. Number four is stationary, um, but I th I think that one is pretty self-explanatory. Self I just think it's so much easier to send your friend a text or Skype them or call them. Number five is old high school textbooks. Um, you won't need those. And number six is high school apparel. You probably will never wear that. I usually bring one or two shirts because for band camp we have like high school themes so, like a day to like represent like our high school and stuff so that's really all I bring it for. Number seven is old school stereo systems. I honestly have a like, uh, I think I mentioned this, this in yesterday's video but I have a, a speaker that like can hang up in the shower but I don't really use it but I'm also going to hopefully get a new one and that is it for this video so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in tomorrow's video